I didn't even tell my mom. It just like have like a big gun that's I never seen. It just come out and put it out on me. Henninger High School student Paul Odo recalls one of the most traumatic experiences he faced while walking home from school. Just run and get in the house. Odo is one of many students in the city of Syracuse who must walk every day to and from school through tough neighborhoods, inclement weather, and unplowed sidewalks. When I leave school, I don't know what's going to happen when I leave home. Getting to and from school safely is an added stress on students who are not transported by the Syracuse City School District because they live within one and a half miles from the school they attend. Because of the distance requirement, stories like Odo's are far too common. Three years ago, um, I got jumped coming up from practice, uh, my cousin and I. There was a bunch of African-American guys singing around the soccer field waiting for us to end practice so they, you know, pick on us, which we didn't know. So we just, you know, finished practice and he was walking by and then he just coming out, started coming out after us. I got jumped on my way back home. And then as I walked, they just stopped me and then like just calling me the N-word, which at the time, since I didn't speak good English, I didn't even know what it meant. And then I was just walking by, not even knowing what they was telling me. And then so they might have thought that I was being rude or something. And so, yeah, it happened. And when attacks do occur, Odo says the language and cultural barrier prevents many students and their parents from coming forward. There is some information I've been reported to the police officer, but they can't speak English. But these students are learning to advocate for themselves through a policy course taught by Joyce Suslovic, a history teacher at Henninger High School, who began the Two Miles is Too Far movement back in 2015 with several of her students. The movement was able to gain enough traction that the Syracuse City School Board lowered the distance requirement for busing from two miles to one and a half miles. But Suslovic and her students say one and a half miles is still too far. You know, we're really, really concerned about our students' safety. You know, just not because of attacks, but because of motorists um, in bad weather. According to the Syracuse City government website, it is the responsibility of the property owner to remove snow and ice from the sidewalks adjacent to their property. But Chimier says it's not being done. Neighborhoods here in Syracuse, you will not see sidewalk shuffle. For students that live in the snowiest city in America, the weather makes getting an education a challenge, especially when students can't get to school. According to the New York State Department of Education, the average graduation rate for high school students in 2016 was 80 percent. Here in the Syracuse City School District, the graduation rate was 60 percent. Suslovic says one reason for the low graduation rate is that the lack of transportation is affecting students' abilities to learn. I can tell you the students that have gaps in their education because they've missed school on the elementary level. Um, when they write essays, I can see the grammar that's lacking, the spelling. Josefa Nana says getting an education is a huge reason why students like him came to America to begin with. So in order to get to education, we, need, we actually we physically need to be there. The Syracuse City School District has an ongoing initiative to help increase the graduation rate by encouraging attendance. All you have to do is get put on hold by the district to hear how vital attendance is to students' education. In the Syracuse City School District, attendance matters for every student every day. As early as kindergarten, making school attendance a priority is critical to success. But despite the initiative, Suslovic says without fixing the transportation issue, students are left in the cold when it comes to receiving a quality education. But you can't improve attendance if you can't get to school safely. According to the Syracuse City School District, students K through 8 who meet the distance requirement are bused, while high school students who meet the requirement are given central bus passes. Syracuse City School Board member Katie Sojewitz, who is also on Ben Walsh's transition team for education, says the one and a half mile requirement cannot be lowered due to state funding regulations. The state formula says one and a half is the mileage. If we go below and we pick up students who don't qualify, then we incur a penalty, which we would have to pay. And in a district where 75% of their general fund budget comes from state aid, paying a fee 
would take away money that the district needs. So in order to not have that happen, we would have to have that changed at the state level. And in that regard, the new mayoral administration would be a huge help in advocating for that. Mayor-elect Ben Walsh says he is willing to do what he can to help ensure students get to school safely. So we will, we will look for opportunities to, to address the busing issue, to, to bring that number down even, uh, even further, whether it's to a mile or, or even less. Um, we need to make sure that kids uh, have uh, safe and affordable ways to get to school so they can be in a position to, to learn. That's just a bunch of bricks Bob there. Doherty, um, the co-chairman yeah, of Ben no. Walsh's transition team for the Neighborhood and Public Safety Committee, has one idea to help make walking safer for students, a sidewalk program. And the thing about having nice sidewalks, it's easier to clear them too. Uh, our sidewalks are in such bad shape, you can't even take a snowblower over them without breaking it. Doherty says the program would not only focus on plowing, but improving the condition of the sidewalks as well. I think that if we improve the sidewalks in the city, uh, it'll make everybody feel more comfortable uh, walking anywhere they want to go, not just school, but pedestrians going anywhere. Common Council member Joe Driscoll is also on the transition team for neighborhood and public safety. He agrees with Doherty that something needs to be done with the sidewalks, but is more concerned about the city's long-term future. If we invest in these kids and make sure that their school experience is, is something they remember fondly, something they enjoy, something they want to do, then um, We'll see that pay off in Syracuse's long-term prosperity. Driscoll says Ms. Suslovic was one of his teachers growing up in Syracuse, and so the busing issue is close to his heart. It's something that I will definitely fight for on the council to see if we can, uh, if we can find the funding to get these kids uh, within a mile of, of the school. When it comes down to a specific solution, Driscoll says it has to come from those who are affected. I think my job as an elected isn't so much to have the solutions to everything, but to be willing to listen to people who might know better than me that, that might have solutions. And who knows more about the transportation issue than the students who have to walk. And these group of high school students have solutions and hope to bring their policies to the Common Council. Jules Chimier plans to spend 2018 advocating for his policy to municipalize sidewalks. My policy sort of ties into two miles is too far, and then the one mile when policy, it sort of gives us an alternative to make the work of students to school safer and also much, much more pleasurable. While Chimier is pushing for city-regulated sidewalks, Paul Odo is advocating for central bus passes to be given to every student. Well, every student get a universal bus bus, I think gra the graduation rates will be better. While the graduation rate in the city of Syracuse may be lower than state average, these high school students are learning to use their voice and their minds to create real change for themselves as well as their fellow students. Sarah Bonides, NCC News.